Okay, so welcome to Math Storia and let's have this topic, the law of cosines. So these are the different formulas for the law of cosines and we can only use this law of cosines in solving for an oblique triangle if case 1, so given two sides and included angle. So if this is the oblique triangle, and these are the given two sides. So this angle is the included angle. Then if this is the oblique triangle and these are the given two sides. So this angle is the included angle. Then for case 2, given three sides of an oblique triangle. So we have this given. So solve for the triangle. Since this given satisfy case 1 for the law of cosines because the given two sides and this included angle. So for case 1 given two sides and included angle. So therefore we can solve this triangle using the law of cosines. So in the given triangle we have this angle A that's 63 degrees. Angle B is unknown and angle C is also unknown. Then opposite to angle A, that side A, also unknown. Opposite to angle B, that side B, that's 18. And opposite to angle C, that side C, that's 25. So first, solve for uh, side A. So using this formula that a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared then minus 2bc times cosine angle a. So a is unknown so we have a squared is equal to b squared so b is 18 so this one is 18 squared plus c squared so c is 25 so an is 25 squared then minus 2 times b is 18 c is 25 then cosine angle a that's cosine 63 degrees then simplify so a squared is equal to this 18 squared plus 25 squared. So we have 18 squared plus 25 squared. That's 949. So this one is 949. Then minus this 2 times 18 times 25 times cosine 63 degrees. So that's 2 times 18 times 25 times cosine 63 degrees that's 408.59 so minus 408.59 then to solve for a so we have a squared is equal to this 949 minus 408.59 so we have 949 minus 408.59 that's 540.51 so this one is 540.51 so to solve for a so take the square root of a squared and the square root of this 540.51 so a now is equal to so we have the square root of 540.51 that's 23.25 so side a is equal to 23.25 so this is for side a then to solve for angle B, since side A is equal to 23.25, so to solve for angle B using this formula, uh, B squared 
is equal to a squared plus c squared then minus 2ac times cosine angle b. So b is 18, so this one is 18 squared equals a squared, so a is 23.25 squared plus c squared, c is 25 squared, then minus 2 times a, that's 23.25 times c, c is 25, then we have cosine angle b, then simplify, so this 18 squared, so we have 18 squared, that's 324. So this one is 324, then equals this 23.25 squared plus 25 squared. So we have 23.25 squared plus 25 squared. That's 1165.56. So, 1,165.56 Then minus this 2 times 23.25 times 25 So, we have 2 times 23.25 times 25 That's 1,162.5 so this one is 1162.5 then we have this cosine angle b then to solve for angle b so we need to transpose this to the left so this negative becomes positive 1162.5 then cosine angle b equals 1165.56 then this 324 transpose to the right so that becomes negative 324 then divide both sides by 1162.5 and this one divide by 1162.5 so cancel so to solve now for angle b so angle b is equal to this inverse cosine so that's cosine to the power negative one or inverse cosine then this 1165.56 minus 324 so 1165.56 minus 300 24 that's 841.56 so this one is 841.56 then divide by 1162.5 so to solve now for angle b so to solve for angle b we have this shift then cosine that's cosine to the power negative one then open parenthesis, so this 841.56, then divide by 1162.5, close parenthesis. So angle B is equal to 43.62 degrees. So angle B is 43.62 degrees. So this is for angle B. Then to solve for the last unknown, that's angle C. So using this formula, that angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. So angle A is 63 degrees plus angle B, that's 43.62 degrees. Then plus angle C equals 180 degrees. So to solve now for angle C, that's equal to 180 minus this 63 degrees plus 43.62. So we have 63 degrees 
plus 43.62 degrees, that's 106.62. So this one is 106.62. So angle C is equal to, so we have this 180 minus 106.62. So, angle C is 73.38 degrees. So, angle C is 73.38 degrees. So, this one for angle C. Then, for this given, since given three sides of an oblique triangle, so this one satisfy case 2. Given three sides, so we're going to use this law of cosines in solving for this triangle. So these are the unknown, the angle A, the angle B, and the angle C. So to solve for angle A, so using this formula, A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared, then minus 2BC, then cosine angle A. So side A, that's 20 squared, equals side B, that's 15 squared, plus side C, that's 27 squared, then minus 2 times 15, times 27, then cosine angle A. Then simplify, so this 20 squared, this one is 400, then equals this 15 squared plus 27 squared. So we have 15 squared plus 27 squared. That's 954. So this one is 954. Then minus this 2 times 15 times 27. So 2 times 15 times 27, that's 810. So minus 810, then this cosine angle A. Then transpose this uh, negative 810 cosine angle A to the left. This becomes positive, so positive 810, then cosine angle A equals 900. 54, then this 400 to the right, that's minus 400. Then to solve for angle A, so divide both sides by 810. Divide by 810. So angle A now is equal to this inverse cosine. Then we have 954 minus 400 that's 554 so this one is 554 divide by 810 so angle a now is equal to so we have inverse cosine or shift then cosine then open parenthesis 554 Divide by 810. So angle A is equal to 46.85 degrees. So angle A is equal to 46.85 degrees. So this one for angle A. Then to solve for angle B. So using this formula that B squared is equal to A squared plus C squared minus 2AC then cosine angle B. So side B that's 15 so we have this 15 squared equals A squared that's 20 squared plus C squared that's 27 squared then minus 2 times 20 times 27, then cosine angle B. 
Then this 15 squared, this one is 225, equals, so this 20 squared plus 27 squared. So this 20 squared plus 27 squared. That's 1,129. So this one is 1,129. Then minus 2 times 20 times 27. So we have 2 times 20 times 27. That's 1,080. So minus 1,080. Then cosine angle B. Then transpose this 1080 cosine angle B to the left. So this becomes positive 1080. Then cosine angle B equals 1129. Then this 225 to the right becomes negative 225. Then divide both sides by this 1080. Divide by 1080, so angle B is equal to inverse uh, cosine. Then we have, so we have 1129 minus 225, that's 904. So we have 904 over 1080. So, angle B is equal to, so that's shift, then cosine, so that's inverse cosine, then open parenthesis, 904 divided by 1080, so that's 33.17 degrees, so angle B is 33.17. 17 degrees. So this one for angle B. Then to solve for the last angle, so we have angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. So angle A, this one is 46.85 degrees plus angle B, that's 33. 0.17 degrees plus angle C equals 180 degrees. So angle C now is equal to 180 degrees minus this 46.85 degrees plus 33.17 degrees. So we have 46.85 degrees plus 33.17 degrees. That's 80.02. So this one is 80.02. So angle C is equal to 180 minus 80.02. That's 99.98 degrees. So angle C is equal to 99.98 degrees degrees